appreciate your willingness to help out with coaching. Uh, we are, you're, you're, at this point, you're probably wondering, okay, what age am I coaching? Who am I going to be doing? Um, just, you're going to be flexible because we're still getting registrations and figuring out team sizes and all that. Um, I know some of you really like to have little kids, um, and uh, so if you really like to have little kids, let me know that because um, um, a lot of you I know really like older kids, and some of you really like older kids, maybe with some younger kids based on their numbers. Um, so we're going to uh, just be flexible on that, and who are you going to pair? I'm going to pair you with with assistant coaches and stuff. That's also going to kind of depend on numbers and stuff. Uh, but if there's somebody that you know that you want to be your assistant coach or work with somebody, be sure to let me know that. Uh, but again, be flexible, that's the name of the game, because uh, people show up, we may just change on the fly, so just be ready for that. Okay, the first thing I gave to you on the two sides of paper, were there any of those left? Do we have plenty of the, uh, the sheets with the God's message and six questions? Do we have plenty of those? Just enough? All right, good. All right, what I've given to you, and I appreciate Sarah kind of reviewing the gospel for us, um, these six questions are things that we use all the time, and you hear us talking about these six questions. And I would encourage you between now and Monday to just have these just a part of your, your thinking. Because as Nate's going to be teaching and the, the crew's going to be teaching different, different lessons, the big message is that there's one way. All right? Well, why is there one way? Well, these six questions help us to understand it. The first question is, who is God? Right? We have some verses there. What, is, what, are, what are our two big summary words? Who is God? He is our what? Creator. He's our creator. And because he's our creator, he's also our king. king right? And so those words, and again, you can take time to expand on that. He's our creator and king. The next question is, who are we? If God's a creator, we are creatures. creatures okay? So we're creatures. God's made us to love and know him. But all we like sheep have done what? Astray. Gone astray, each to our own way. So not only are we creatures, but we're also what? Rebels. Rebels, all right? We're rebels against God. So who is God? Creator, Creator and King. King. Who are we? Creatures, Creatures and rebels. rebels. All right, so the next question is, what should God do to us? All right, we have rebelled against God. Romans 3, 23 says we're all sinners. Um, it says the wages of sin is what? Death. death, all right? We're not stopped to die, but also the consequences after death. It's eternal death. So what should God to do, uh, do to us? Our words are death and hell, all right? And we realize that's the reality. I mean, we are in a significant, serious position. So God's our creator and king. We are creatures and rebels. What should God do to us? Death and hell. But what has God done instead? Instead, God has done what? Our, our sheets. He has sent who? Jesus, all right, Jesus, fully God, fully man, lived a sinless life. On your papers, you have the pictures of the report card. What was our report card? S. Our spiritual report card are all S. What's Jesus' spiritual report card? A plus. A plus is he always lived to uh, obey and love the Father. So his report card, all A's, ours are all S. What happens if, Seth, if you came home with an all F report card, what would happen to you? <laughs> Close to death. <laughs> Parents almost want to kill you, I suppose. <laughs> all right, yes, we recognize that. I come home with all I have a four card, I'm dead. Right? Okay, now, we come home, we come to God with an all F report card, because it's with God's pass fail. Either we've sinned or we haven't. We have sinned, so it's F. I show up with an all F report card uh, before God. What's happened to me? I'm dead. Right? And uh, yet, Jesus' report card, all A's. I come home with an all A plus report card. How am I greeted? Well done, right? And so Jesus has an all A report card, and yet the Bible says the wages of sin is death. What happened to Jesus at the end of his life? He died. He died. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Now, now if we're thinking big and thinking clearly about the gospel and the Bible, we're thinking, well, something's not right here, because the Bible says for all the wages of sin is death. Jesus never sinned, but Jesus died. Sums up, right? Okay. So what happens? Well, there's a report card. What did Jesus do? Jesus took our hit report card and he stood before the Father with our report card and what, how did the Father treat him? Just like we deserve to be treated. Right? And so Jesus, our word, so what, should, what has God done instead? He's provided Jesus and what is our second word? Who is our substitute? substitute all right? He took our place. And this idea of substitution is not only did Jesus take our sins, but when we repent and believe, what does he give us? His report card, his righteousness. 
Right? So how does that happen? So who is God? Creator and King. Who are we? Creatures and reverence. What should God do to us? Death and hell. What has He done instead? Jesus. So the question is then how must we respond? I appreciate Sarah emphasizing this. We turn. Okay, we turn from our sin and we trust. Okay, we turn and trust. Repent and believe are two other words that we've used a lot tonight. All right, and uh, as a result of that, what difference does it make? Okay, so repented of sins, I believed it. God is a creator and king. I'm a creature and a rebel. I deserve death and hell. Jesus is my substitute. I repent and believe. I repent and believe. What difference does it make? New life. New life. When? Now and now forever. Now and forever. Okay, that's the gospel message, all right? We want to, I want, that just needs to be, like, when we get squeezed, that's what needs to be coming out of us, all right? And so we want that to be front and center. And Nate's going to, Nate and the team are going to do a great job of communicating that. But again, I think having that template in your background just floating in there so when questions come up, you know, those questions are going to come up at different, what about sin? What about Jesus? What about, uh, what about death? What about hell? And those floating in the background uh, will help you answer the questions, kids, well, all right? Okay, any questions on that? I know that shouldn't be new to most of you, but we want to keep that very, very clear to all of you. During, the, um, during your time with the kids, there are going to be review questions. All right, so we call the time where um, Nate and the crew are doing the singing and all that, that's zone time, and then we go to team time. And team time is the time to review the lesson and to call kids to repentance. All right, and uh, we're going to pass out some the questions. Seth, you want to help Pat? Now, if you want to say, I really hope I'm working for, with real little kids, or like to, put your hand up and Seth will give you one of those. All right? What constitutes really little kids? The, the, um, the, 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 your word would be the ankle biters. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the five, six, seven, eight year old, the youngest kids, um, five, six, seven kind of time ages. All right? Okay, now, if others, older ones, here you go, Seth, now give these to everybody else. Those questions, um, everybody else gets those. We will pass these out to you during the night so you have them because um, I know a lot of times it's easier to forget those with coming after work. Um, but as you ask the questions, you know, be, be sure you're asking good questions with the kids. And um, the older kids are, don't ask the simple, simple question. Um, you know, we know this, we hear the story about the little kids who were in Sunday school and their Sunday school teacher asked them the questions, okay, I want, I want you to tell me what I'm describing. It says it's, it's brown, it's got four legs, climbs trees, God has, has a fuzzy tail, berries nuts. What am I describing, children? And the kid, one of the kids raises his hand and he says, well, teacher, sure sounds like you're describing a squirrel, but I know since we're in Sunday school, the answer is God. You know, there's a good answer. So who made you? God. Who loves you? God. Who created everything? God. Who, and then we just ask questions like that. And it's, the answer is God. It's God. It's God. It's God. And we're not calling the kids to think. All right? Asking preschoolers those questions, fantastic. Asking eight, nine-year-old kids questions, not causing them to think much. So encourage them to think uh, with the questions. All right? And so... Um, with the lesson um, on the sheet that Sarah gave you, I would encourage you to each of uh, the five days, there's the one way. Um, I would encourage you to familiarize yourself with those stories a little bit um, over the next, week, next few days. Um, it'll help you. They're going to do a good job of teaching it, but if you're familiar with it and read through those, um, it's going to give you a leg up as you uh, work through some of those. All right. Okay, any questions about that? All right, let's review this. So we're going to talk about a little soccer stuff, all right? Okay, on the side that does not have all the little people on it, um, we have kind of what's going to happen uh, during the night. All right, okay, so what's going to happen during the night? Five o'clock, I would love for you to get here as close to five o'clock as you can. I know work tough and all that, but uh, the kids will start, they show up pretty early. Okay, and so if you can get here at the earliest, close to 5 o'clock as you can. Um, the campers, they start arriving at 5 o'clock. They will register in the gym. 
and uh, then they will come out to the fields. You, as coaches and assistant coaches, will be on the fields waiting for kids to be brought to you. And um, as they come, uh, we'd like for one, like you, uh, to be standing at, um, there'll be little signs, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are supposed your team five, you'll be standing there at team five. There'll be a little tub there that they can put their water bottles and stuff in. And uh, so somebody be standing there, and, um, and so you greet them, high five, fist bumps, you know, get, say hello to them, and uh, then send them with your assistant coach to the field, and then kick around balls and stuff, all right? This kind of is warm-up time, and they're just this kind of free time as people gather. Around 5.30, uh, on the first night it won't be 5.30, um, but it'll probably be closer to 5.40, but we'll blow a whistle and uh, have everybody gather around with their teams, all right? And uh, we'll gather out in the field in a big circle, but it's a circle like a wheel, all right? So we'll have a center, and then your teams will like team one, team two, team three, okay, we'll be lined up that way. And we'll do a welcome and uh, uh, some introduction, introductory things, and I'll lead that. Then we'll go to what we call the skills and drills, all right? And you have a schedule of skills and drills uh, there on the uh, right-hand side of that page. Um, so, for instance, at the top, that in the yellow, it's M. What do you suppose that M means in yellow Monday. on the first day? Monday. Monday. Really get very good. And T1. <laughs> what do you suppose T1 means? T1. 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 Okay, good. This is very clear, all right? <laughs> so if you're Team 1, and those numbers below are the stations, uh, at, uh, if you're at Team 1 on the first day, what station do you suppose you go to first? Excellent. Now, day two is what? T day, right? That's the T day. And so you'd look at this and you think, okay, it's the second day. Where am I supposed to go? The first station. And you would go where? Eight. eight. Okay. And then the rest of it all follows. So you go from eight to nine, ten. All right. So that'll help you figure out where you move. Now, one of the things you see in there is not a station, but it's your snack break. All right. And so those are worked into your schedule. And, uh, and so you kind of, snacks will be in the gym. And you think, well, can I really do my snack time in seven or eight minutes? Probably not. Okay, so what happens if you go long? It's fine. Whenever you're done, just go to the station you're supposed to be at at the time on your chart. Okay? All right, so a little long. All right? And um, so that is kind of our rotation thing. So that's skills and drills, and we do that for just a little over an hour. And then we come into the, uh, in, into the building. All right? If you are... You'll be having the um, youngest team, the five and six year old teams, you're going to come through the sliding glass doors and go up into the chapel that way. If you have the older kids, you're going to come in through these doors and go to the chapel this way. All right, why? Because we don't want little kids getting run over by big kids. All right, and whichever door you come in, you go out that way as well. All right, and so you may need a little time to come in, go to the bathroom ahead of time, just use your time well. Um, with that. So we need to be in the auditorium or in the chapel at 7 o'clock. Um, during that time there's going to be um, the song time, verses, lesson, and all of that. Now when you're there, I want, I, I don't be sitting at the end of a row. Sit in the middle of your team. Why do you think you probably need to sit kind of in the middle of your team? Right, so you can smack them in the head when they're talking, right? And so you're close enough to them whenever they're chattering you can just say, Hey, pay attention. Okay, so it's real easy because if you're sitting here and they're down that row and they're kind of talking, you're thinking, I don't want to make a commotion and get nothing over there, say something to them, or should I, or whatever, and, and you're wrestling with that. But if you're sitting right that close to them, what do you do, Nick? Right, okay. In love. Right, in love. Right. In love. Right. Stop having so much fun. Okay, so, um, so then following that time, um, uh, they'll finish in the chapel and we'll dismiss to team time. And team time is your time with your team to be talking about the gospel, to be doing all the stuff that Sarah was just talking about. Okay? So, and, uh, and you, the best places to go are either you can go in the gym, if you can stay in the chapel, one or two groups can stay in there, you can stay in the old kitchen, um, outside of the um, back part of the chapel, you can go there. Uh, go outside. We really don't want you like, going upstairs and all over the building because then they have to clean the whole building. So if we just kind of stay in these general areas, that makes it nice for everybody. Um, if it's really hot, the gym, we get several teams in the gym. You can sit in the shade. Uh, but just find a place for your team. And um, then use the resources that will have those questions and work with your kids. 
Right, so at that, so then at about five minutes till eight, around that time, we'll ring the bell. And the bell, we'll hear a bell being ring, ringing, that's the time to change stations. That's how you're going to know. You hear a bell, it's like, oh, it's time that you do something different, right? We'll train you as a catalog. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. And, uh, but with that, at eight o'clock, we'll do that, and then we'll just have our games. And what's going to happen is, uh, from 8 to about 8.25, we're going to play uh, a game. Um, and so your team's going to play another team. And so it, with the um, bottom of your sheet there, it talks about that. The 5 to 8-year-olds are going to play 5 on 5, and we don't do a goalie. Now, trying to get the kids not to play goalie can be kind of tough, but you want to push them out of goals because the fields are small. 9 to 11-year-olds are playing 8 on 8 with the goalie. And then just work on rotating the kids. Just rotate them in, trying to give, give them all playing time. Uh, probably about 10 kids on your team is what you'll have, uh, will be the plan. And so we'll play, uh, those will bring the bell or something for halftime, have like a three or four minute halftime, uh, ring it again, and then they'll finish up. All right? Okay. Um, for the stations, well, let's turn over on the back. All right? On Sunday night at, at, at uh, 7 o'clock, 7.15 probably, time frame, we're going to have, the field will be set up, and we're going to go out and we're going to walk through all these with you, all right? The pictures are pretty self-explanatory, and uh, there will be pictures on the station signs on the field, these pictures remind you, so you get to station five, and you're like, what am I supposed to do on station five? You're just going to look at the picture that's there, and you're like, oh yeah, this is the one I do this, all right? And in the packet of information that... Um, uh, Sarah sent you last week. Did anybody not get the packet of information last week and an email? You did not get it? You did not get it? Okay. Can you write this? Oh, I agree. Um, Jennifer and Christine. Okay. In that uh, packet of information, it, it describes these drills. All right. So you, it, it talks, walks through it. And they're real simple. There, there, nothing's difficult about it. Um, so those are the skills and drills that, uh, that you'll be doing um, during that time. Um, on your, back on the other side of this sheet, under the daily schedule, the next one is camp rules. Uh, these are things that, uh, why these are laminated sheets, these are for you to carry around and to remind your, your um, uh, players of. The rules are have fun, we want to encourage you to be participating, uh, to pay attention. Okay, let's, we got to stay together as a team. Um, encourage others, all right? So if somebody doesn't do a drill very well, um, you know, if a kid says, oh, yeah, that's terrible, you say, hey, hey, we want to encourage us, let's say, let's do a good job, all right? Uh, sticking together, that is a big idea with your team. Stick with your team, have your players with you all the time. Uh, somebody will say, and, uh, like, you're five minutes into something, I have to go to the bathroom. They say, hey, if you want to you know, wait just a few minutes, we'll all go to the bathroom together, and you can wait till snack time, and you go, all right? One thing is we don't send any kids to the bathroom by themselves. Um, if, you're, if somebody really, really needs to go for that, um, I have an assistant coach, and we have, we'll have some people floating around um, just to help with that, all right? Um, so we don't have kids isolated, some of the child protection stuff that um, we need to be, uh, be aware of. Um, so we stick together and then just do the right things. Um, kind of the big picture. Um, let me look. Uh, what any questions that you have at this point? Questions, thoughts, comments? All right, um, I'm reviewing some of this, I uh, can time, dismissal. Okay, whenever, so it's at 8.30, we are wrapping up, game time's over. Okay, we will have, we will have all the kids back out in the field where we met to begin with. We'll finish there with some wrap-up instructions with the kids. They'll be lined up behind their coaches at the, each, at the pole, each pole out there and uh, we'll give some last instructions, and then we'll dismiss. Now, the dismissal is a pretty uh, important way that we dismiss. Um, when parents show up, we're giving them a little card that will have their kid's name and team number on it, right? And they take that home. Don't release any kids without them giving you the ticket, all right? So if Sarah's come to pick up Seth for her soccer camp, she said, I'm here to pick up Seth. You can say, I need your ticket, all right? And so she gives it to me, she gets Seth. She says, I don't have my ticket. All right, we'll say, okay, well, why don't, we'll hang on just a second, let's get, and it'll be probably Trisha or Sarah, uh, let's get Trisha or Sarah, and they'll, make, they'll get that taken care of, and then you'll be able to release them. So your job is just don't release without a ticket, all right? Even our church kids, 
you know, so it's, um, you know, Jamin Chambers that says, I'm going to go to my dad's and says, hang on a second, all right, just, we want to have that consistent policy for child safety, all right. Okay. Um, Are we giving out prizes or gifts? Every yes, yeah, we will, um, we will we're gonna, the, at the end of the week they'll get a ball, they'll get a water bottle one night, uh, they'll get a t-shirt the first night, and there's a bag, um, one of those um, Thai, string, string bags, string bags, yeah, cinch sack bags, and they look really cool, if you haven't seen them yet, blue's our collar this year, um, I should have brought them, but the other thing looks, looks really sharp, and uh, we'll get you your t-shirt Sunday night, and uh, and plan to do some laundry next week, so we'd like you to wear the same the t-shirts every night, kind of identify yourselves. So uh, you could easily identify them without well, laundry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, again, to the, have a ministry mindset and have fun. That's a big just smile. I appreciate just smiling and having fun as we're doing this. This is a fantastic opportunity to have fun with kids. Um, as you think about the discipline, our child protection stuff. Um, you know that we go most of it. You actually have all gone through that. Um, but when you think about discipline, no, there's like handling of the kids. You know, be you know, you can pat them on the back and kind of stuff. If somebody's doing something, causing problems, um, look for help. We'll have some people around that'll kind of be personal trainers. And so if somebody is like out of control, well, we got a personal trainers around that they can they'll hang out with. All right. And um, but um, use loving words, loving tones um, with your kids. Um, first aid, we'll have uh, somebody here, um, Andrew Trailer is going to be kind of our designated um, go-to guy for um, first aid, and actually um, Nathaniel can be help us with some first aid as well. When's your test? Um, next week, but I'm not first responder to you. So. Okay, good. All right. So, all right. So we have not had the big need for that in the past, um, but we won't. Also, if there's a rain plan, what happens if it rains? Typically, at that time, this time of year, rain doesn't last real long in thunderstorms. If it's raining lightly, we'll play in the rain. Um, but we'll typically move inside and just kind of shift the night around a little bit. And so we're inside with lightning and things and then move back outside. Um, but if it's 7 thirds, if, if it's time to have our game and it's raining, we'll play the games in the rain. It's soccer. Right? And um, they're going to stink already anyway, so we'll send them home wet and stinking, so that'll be the plan. <laughs> And um, so for your homework, I want you to be, pr be praying about the week, all right? Be praying for good attendance, praying for the weather, praying for all the trellis pieces that fall into line, but also be praying for tender hearts, um, that our hearts will be tender as we work with the kids, that God will bring his kids, that um, he is already preparing their hearts, and that we'll see a neat fruit. Kids that know Christ will grow, kids that don't know Christ will be saved, all right? And that we will grow as a result of loving on the kids and sharing truth. All right, any questions, thoughts, comments that you all have? How many do we have registered right now? We have 60 registered today. This, but actually this morning at uh, 10.30 or 11, it was uh, 59. Um, so if you're on social media, um, go to our, hit, our Facebook page, hit like, hit share. Let's get it at this kind of one last push to get some last registrations because it usually does. We have an uptick here right before it. Nobody likes to commit early. We got till Friday. Yeah, Friday uh, because we get, need to get t shirts or made and all that kind of stuff. And can you explain how things are going to close on Friday? Yeah, on Friday, our plan is to be done early, around 7.30ish on Friday. Um, last year when it rained and we moved everything inside and we got done early, parents loved it because we weren't so late on the Friday night. And so, um, so Friday night, we won't do the skills and drills stuff very much. Um, we'll gather for our opening. We'll probably give you a, a little bit of time to do like your favorite drill that you want to do with your kids for a little, just a few minutes as we get started. And then we'll come inside to um, do um, our zone time, have our final team time, and then go games. And then at the, at the end of the games, uh, we'll have a little period of time where the kids will, uh, uh, Nate will talk about what we talked about over the week, sing some of their songs, talk about a couple of verses for their parents, and then we'll have some ice cream or popsicles, just a snack at the end. And, and I'd encourage that time um, as you dismiss the kids work, to really work to interact with the parents. You know, get to know them, ask them if they have a church home. Uh, if they do, they say, great. If they don't, say, hey, we'd love to have you visit us and um, help you know some things about our church.
All right, anything else? Anything else you think of? Anybody else? Do we have to successfully complete these drills? You have to successfully tell the kids how to do it. Okay. Yeah, you can, this, is, this is not... Trust me, it's not hard. If I can do it in... <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, there, yeah, for it is, you just tell, like, the cone thing, that number one dribble in between the cones. You think, man, I don't play soccer. I don't want to dribble a ball. What you do is say, okay, who here can, knows a little bit about soccer? And they'll all put their hand up and say, okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this ball, and I want you to dribble around it. So they'll go, all right, does everybody understand what you're doing now? Yep, okay, all right, come back, and then have the kids do it. Yeah, you're, got, you're, you're corralling kids um, more, it's really not about, it's, it's getting touches on the ball and letting the kids kick around and have some fun with it and um, can develop a little bit of skills for this. Yeah, that's a very good question. I tried to make that clear up front, but yeah. Kevin challenges me and I can't do half the stuff he challenges me to do. So. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. Not, nothing wrong with that. All right. Hey, again, I really appreciate your guys' willingness to invest uh, a lot of time into this next week. And uh, it, I know it's a big commitment for a lot of you that are working during the day and then showing up here at night. And it gets to be a long week. Uh, so be praying for good endurance and that God will keep us fresh. And um, I think he has a great way of providing us with the strength. Okay. Uh, if I could just give you a real quick layout of what to expect during the zone time when you come in and sit down. Um, the... The, the real quick flyby is we'll, when you come in, I'm going to have some pictures up on the screen of that day's skills and drills. And so the kids can uh, watch the uh, pictures as they come in. Then we'll start off with some song, or a song, memory verse, uh, probably do another song. Um, it, it'll kind of flex and roll a little bit. There'll be a missionary story, and, um, and then we'll go into the Bible lesson and wrap it up. Um, it, again, it's customized for each each day, but um, but that's the real quick flow of things. This year for the songs, we're gonna do. Um, I think I think there are four songs that we're gonna be doing in addition to the high power soccer song that we've done in past years. And, uh, and really all you got to do is act excited, all right? Up on the screen, uh, we'll be projecting the, the words and, um, and the music and stuff. That'll be all, all coming across. But there's people doing the motions on the screen. And then Brittany and Madison, if she heals from her wicked sunburn. <laughs> she looks like a redskin right now. Um, she, uh, they're, they're going to be up leading in the motions, and you can just stumble and fumble along and have fun with it, all right? As you set the tone, the kids will follow and they'll get excited. So please act lively, all right? And just have fun with it. Be willing to laugh at yourself and enjoy the experience. Um, uh, it, that's... It, 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 they're fun songs, they're short songs, you'll be able to pick them up, um, I think they're stopping, let me tell you, 1963, I think that was originally uh, written, whatever, so you're probably familiar with that one, there's, there's a number of others, um, so anyway, uh, that's the real quick lay of the land of what's happening with Zone Time, and uh, that's all I've got. Alright, let's pr pray as we wrap up, and you're out of here. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the amazing grace that you have shown to us so that we might be saved. And as we have the opportunity to share the good news of Jesus Christ, I pray that you would use us, um, use your word. Lord, we are not special instruments and, and, uh, and just really gifted people. We're hopeless without you. Without you, we can do nothing. And so I pray, God, that you would do something and that we would be able to share not only uh, the message of Jesus Christ, but be able to share a testimony of how you have done great and mighty things for your glory and because you delight to use uh, weak and, uh, and needy people uh, to do your work so that you get the glory. And we look forward to being able to give that to you and thank you and praise you for this opportunity. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, thank you all for coming.